Welcome back to a brand new news video. In today's Modern Warfare 2 video, we have quite a few things to talk about. We're going to talk about some free camos that you can unlock as well as some upcoming ones. We're also going to be talking about some updates and some changes that we have in game. Some game modes were removed as well. And then we're also going to talk about the store update, some changes that have happened in the store, some upcoming store bundles and much more. Also, don't forget to check out yesterday's video. I posted one going over the MW3 Vault Edition. We have the leaked operators for MW3, the first look that Xbox accidentally ended up leaking. And then we got HD Photo of that what the vault edition for mw3 is going to include and so much more details on that so the link for that will be in the description but anyways before we get into today's topic a quick word from our sponsor messy modding store it's a store that provides any and all call of duty services they can even get you exclusive operators and bundles such as the nuke operator the burger king as well as the ghillie outfit for the most reliable and swift call of duty services check out messy modding the link will be down in the description getting into the very first topic right now we ended up getting some sort of a surprise playlist update this was not meant to be but they ended up removing plunder and lockdown I believe plunder has been gone for like over a week now if i'm not mistaken and then lockdown is more recently something that they ended up disabling now apparently they have removed both of them because there is a quote-unquote issue now when you click on the trello link only details it says is they're investigating an issue typically with these trello boards they give you the exact details on exactly what they're investigating this time around for some reason they are not being transparent with this particular issue but you can come to the conclusion that it is because of the afk method so currently there is an afk method there's been this has been done for like a couple seasons now where all you do is just go AFK in plunder or in lockdown and you just have your parachute turned off. You just get eliminated. It doesn't kick you for inactivity because you auto respawn in and then you just fall again and then you get eliminated again. And then you can keep doing this to gain battle pass tokens to level up. Basically, it was a passive method to just gain XP and to finish your battle pass without you even having to be at your setup. There were clips of people showing that the lobbies, especially during the nighttime, were just filled with people who weren't even there, like up to 15, 20 people per game that were just not even there or available at the time just doing this afk method and it seems like maybe they have disabled it in order to patch this method and fix it so for those of you guys who are wondering why these modes have been removed it seems like this is the reason why but anyways let's go on to the next topic that we have and this has to do with the store update so throwback audio pack number two was supposed to release last season and it didn't they ended up delaying it it's apparently going to be releasing this season it's already released for some players so check your store to see if you have it there's some good and bad news the bad news is the price has gone from 800 to 1400 cod points the good news is they updated it and added more audio so now there's over four hours of music being added into it it has been renamed and updated to the hans zimmer mw2 music pack with four hours of music just like last time there's no telling when it's going to be releasing in the store it's just been appearing randomly for people in their shops so just check every single day to see if it's available for you for those of you guys who are interested in the good news is this audio pack will also carry on over to mw3 so if you like the audio sounds and the og mw2 music then you can use that on mw3 as well because it does confirm that it will carry on over although like war tracks and copyrighted music will not this doesn't have any of that so it has no reason to not carry over regarding the store there's going to be other upcoming bundles that we have that are going to be coming out on the 14th we have the executive warfighter number three that's going to be releasing in two days from now this will cost you 1800 cod points and it looks like this it has two blueprints and operator and then stickers and calling cards and other things like that that you usually come in with the store updates the thing is is apparently on the 16th we were supposed to expect Nicki Minaj to be coming in but apparently she's not going to be added at that time there's actually a different operator bundle that has taken that slot and that is the clown bundle that we have so this is what it has operator skin for Axel called the Mr. S laughter or Mr. Slaughter costing 2,000 cod points will come along with DMZ bonus effects two weapon blueprints it doesn't look like it has any tracer effects on the weapons so that's the unfortunate thing but that's going to be releasing on the 16th but unfortunately these are the only two that we have a date for there are a bunch of other upcoming operator bundles that we have but here's just some photos of what they look like but these are going to be releasing at any point during season five between now and the season five reloaded update we just don't have a date and we'll get the dates as we get closer but Nicki Minaj is set to be releasing before the reloaded update as well I guess is we're going to receive all the bundle dates next week when we receive the brand new update so they're probably going to add everything like that to the files. I believe Nicki Minaj, the operator skin was messed up or there was an issue with it. So they're going to be fixing that in the next update and then releasing it. But that's everything that you need to know about these upcoming operator bundles. Now let's talk about some free camos that you can get right now. And then some upcoming free camos that are going to be available. So the first one right here, Gamma Power Lockman Sub Weapon Blueprint. This is going to be available only by getting the Vondel new quest completed, which will mean you'll have to win five games of Vondel in a row. You'll have to be in regular battle royale, not resurgence. 
challenges. After you complete that, you're going to be able to do the nuke champion quest. Completing the champion quest and then detonating the bomb and all that will get you this Lockman sub weapon blueprint. And this is what it looks like in game. The good news is it does have tracer effects and tracer animations on it. As you know, it's very rare for Call of Duty to give you something with tracer animations on it for free. So usually they charge you for something like this, but this is available for you to get for free if you are good enough to be able to complete this quest. Other than that, there's also four other camos that you can get. Now these will be available apparently when the M13C is available. So that's going to be on August 17th. Once we get the reveal event and you're able to unlock the M13C and it's added into the game, these camels will be available for you to get and to unlock. As of right now, I believe they're already in the game. You can take a look at the camels if you want. You're just not able to unlock them until the event goes live. But this is the first one that we have. We have the cemented and then it says get 50 eliminations or kills with the blank. And then that's probably the, for the M13C. The next one is going to be get 20 kills while crouched with the M13C and that will get you the Poison's Rivers. Next challenge is get 15 double kills and that will unlock you this brand new camo. And then the last camo that we have is gonna be get 40 ADS kills with it and that will unlock you this Demise camo. So these are the camo rewards that you'll be able to get once you end up getting the M13C in game. Obviously there's gonna be a bunch of other weapons. I believe there's like another three weapons that we are expecting to be added during season five reloaded. So that's gonna be even more camos that you're gonna be able to unlock in the future. And that's not even including the camo challenges that we're gonna get during the mid season update. So there's gonna be plenty of camos for those of you guys who wanna unlock them and grind. And once again, if you are getting MW3 all this is going to carry on over. You don't want to miss out on these camels if you're going to be able to play them on the new Call of Duty title. Anyways, going on to the last and final topic that we have for today. This is an announcement that came from Rockstar Games. They ended up announcing CFX, which is going to be a team behind Rockstar's roleplay and creator communities, which include 5M and Red M that are going to be a part of the Rockstar community. So what that is, Rockstar, the creators of GTA, ended up getting the modders who created 5M, which is sort of like Plutonium or like X-Labs that modders do on Call of Duty here. And they decided rather than shutting them down, they're working together with them to improve servers and make the game a lot more functional and better and more playable for other players which is something that a lot of people are connecting to Call of Duty because it says right here, 5M is now a part of Rockstar Games as of today. Imagine the potential if Activision did the same thing with SM2, Plutonium, X-Labs, instead of slowly taking all of these down. Working with modders is a great way to support the community and create great projects. And I personally agree. I feel like rather than shutting them all down, if they were to work with them, they could probably revive a lot of the Call of Duty servers. Many people are scared to play on right now because if you're on Steam and you tried to play MW2, on the regular COD servers, you would probably end up getting hacked. You'd get DDoS. I remember they actually took down the servers for MW2 for like a week or two to try and fix and I guess address the situation. So if they ended up working with the modders who currently a lot of them do provide MW2 and a different Call of Duty titles that are older and you can play them safely, why not do that? Why not work with them to do something like this? And maybe they can even pay Wallet and make some money behind it. Who knows? But it's definitely a missed opportunity for Activision because they could have profited on it in some way. And a lot of people would have been very happy to have something like this being released into the game. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found the news informative. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. But anyways, it's been your boy Chizzo. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.